Hi there, Frankie for premium members for the trading day of August the 1st, 2024, a Thursday. So here we are after the FOMC and we had a good day. We hope that you did too. Let's review what we did. Look at the ES measured move. We had it here, measured move to the tick. This was all started by a failure test. So this is a pattern that is worth remembering. This will no doubt happen in the future again. And look at the blue hot zone, bullish hot zone, where this whole thing happened. Beautiful stuff. Let's move on to the next one. And also look at the triple R readings in the Market Scanner Pro. You see two plus and three plus readings here. So they will be significant moves here. Let's look at the NQ. We talked about the potential at that time failure of this bearish pattern. Well, now it's not potential because it already has happened. And there was reason to go long if you trade the NQ that is because this was a trading day, uh, trending day today. Look at this. So this is what a trending day looks like. And we had one yesterday on the ES. Okay, next one, YM. We had a bull flag, remember, and now the bull flag is still evolving. If you trail this, you probably got stopped out somewhere, 0 0.5 or 6, and that's okay. That happens too. If you're still long here, I think it's worth holding, but the real pattern is actually on the daily time frame, so a little patience is required. But if you notice, we already have the algorithmic signal on the daily all right, and this is also happening in a hot zone. Look at the blue background on the four hour chart. And RTY for last, which didn't do much, but we, de we do have now a algorithmic signal on this one as well. And a little bit of burnout here or a blowout here at the top here on the four hour chart. So we have to see where this goes. Now on two currencies, 6E didn't do much, but also didn't disappoint in the sense that it is holding and we have to see where this goes. I'm monitoring for a long trade on this market, as I mentioned. And also next one, let's move on to precious metals. Gold did what we thought it would. Here we go, moving to the upper range of this, the upper edge of this range here. And we didn't get the pullback and that it's okay, that happens too. You see, we expected a pullback here. The market was not as generous, but the weekly, which is where the pattern is evolving, is firmly triggered now. And the SI, remember the SI failure test on the SI in the four hour chart? This is not the first time that we are broadcasting failure tests on the SI for big, big, Profits here. This was the first one. This was the second one, I remember. And now this is the third one. That's all we can do. And now the SI is moving up. Didn't give us the pullback, but perhaps it will give us the pullback tomorrow. So be on the lookout for the SI long potential here. And MBT didn't do much, Bitcoin, but We'll see what happens here. What could be happening is just a transition of a simple pullback into a complex pullback, something like this. But I could be totally wrong, so that's all right as well. The weekly is what is really guiding me more long term. So I'm holding a smaller position, as I mentioned a few times. And it's okay to, be, uh, to think ETFs on this as well. Okay, so all in all, pretty good stuff. And of course, of course, the treasuries. Look at this, 1R plus, excellent. And 1R to the tick on the daily. So if you did what had to be done today, then you're much richer, thanks to the treasuries. Look at this beautiful 2R plus stampede here. And this was all broadcast well ahead of time. And ZB was the third one. So I'm confident we are navigating these markets as well as we can. And all in all, we're doing good. And hopefully we'll see you, some of you in the trading course. There's still three hours to use that coupon code. And otherwise, 
We're working on a new release, 3.9. So we have some good stuff coming up in August. August the 1st, a new month. Let's do this. Thank you very much. We'll be back soon. And until then, mindful trading.